Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a loadout menu. My fault if I sound kind of tired and stuff. You guys can clearly see the time. It's like 5 in the morning and shit. But it took me a minute to figure this out. But anyway, I had to, you know, you already know, I had to come through with the video for y'all. So, I got y'all the loadout menu, right? It's pretty simple. I have the UI already made. I'll, show, I'll break it down, y'all. We can get straight into it. So, first things first, head on over to replicated storage. We have three folders, right? melee primary secondary right as you can tell these are our primary guns these are our secondary guns and these are me melee weapons if you don't know what melee means it means like things like knives baseball bats you know stuff like you swing around and stuff you know now if your game doesn't have any melee weapons and it just has guns then you can just do primary and secondary right because you know primary and secondary and then I put the tools inside of each folder, name them gun one, gun two, gun three, gun four. And then of course for melee, I named them melee one, melee two, melee three, melee four. And then I parented each folder to the replicate to replicate a storage. Right? And that's all I did there. You just insert a folder, then insert the tools inside. Then I put a remote event or inserted a remote event, named it loadout event, and put it in replicated storage, right? And that's it for replicated storage. Now onto the GY portion. So I simply inserted a screen GUI into starter GUI, right? I named it loadout GUI. Um, make sure you do you um you check ignore GUI nil set so the UI covers the entire screen. It'll cover the top portion as well. So to show you all the sizing, I'm, I made a, I put a frame and then this is the sizing. I did two zero two zero or two by zero and two by zero, and it covers the entire screen, right? That's what I did for the loadout frame. Then I have as you guys can see, five different frames, I mean, four different frames, right? Primary, which, as you guys can tell, it's they're invisible and stuff, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So, you want to have four different frames. So, primary, secondary, and melee, you want to make sure that they are not visible. By default, make sure they are not visible, right? The, only these three, right? Selector frame, however, is where you select what like what type of weapon are you choosing? Are you selecting your primary weapon? Are you selecting your secondary weapon? Are you se selecting your melee weapon? This is where you choose this. So by default, of course, you want to have this, you know, set the visible. And then in the selector frame, you're just going to have three text buttons. Name them. Name everything exactly as I've named it. Because unless you know how to edit the script to fit the way you named everything, just follow along what I'm doing. So we have primary, secondary, and melee button, right? And then that's it. And then the UI grid layout. Then, of course, the play button, which I just left inside of the loadout frame. This is where we could click play when we have selected everything. And then going through each one, they're all pretty much the same. It's just four buttons named gun, followed by the number button. Same thing here. And then here is just melee number button. And yeah, the UI itself is pretty simple. Yeah, if you guys want the positioning, so these three should all be the same position. These three should all be the same position and size. Here's the positioning and size I went for, right? Then here's, yeah, just in case if you guys were curious to know, there's all the positioning and size, right? Now let's get into the actual scripting. Let's insert a logo script into loadout GUI. Oh, right here, okay? We can name it loadout script and then put client. Oh, wait, I spelled that wrong. Put out script. Oh, I'm, I told you I'm tired. <laughs> Literally, little script local. Right? Then we can delete print hello world. Then, first, of course, let's make a variable for the loadout GUI. So, local load load out GUI is equal to script dot parent. Then, local load. I don't know why the fuck I keep spelling it like that. My fault. My fault. I don't know why I keep spelling it like that. Loadout event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child and of course loadout event then local ts is equal to game get service queen service right then we're gonna make three variables for each weapon so we know which weapon the player currently has selected so local primary weapon and then that's all you're gonna do you're not gonna we're gonna assign the value later on in a function. And we're, of course, we're going to do the same. So secondary, secondary weapon, local melee weapon, and boom, those are our variables. Now let's get into the first function. Let's do four i comma v in pairs. We're going to do loadout gui uh, loadout frame dot selector frame 
get children do if v is a text button because keep in mind i do have a um ui grid layout so i need to make sure that i'm only getting text buttons so if it is a text button then we're going to say if v dot mouse button one click connect function close parentheses right we're going to say if v dot name is equal to primary button that means they're selecting you know the primary weapon so they want so they're trying to view the primary we'll say primary weapons frame right so we're of course going to set some things we're going to do load our gui dot load our frame dot primary weapons frame dot visible is equal to true and then we're going to do we're about to do a lot of copying and pasting right so we're going to paste this you can just select it press Control c or copy and then go to the next line well next two lines and press Control v or paste then i'm going to change some things change this to secondary change this to melee and then of course by default we're going to set these i mean not by default of course we're going to set these to false because we only want to view the primary weapons frame and then as i'm pretty sure you guys can tell we're going to do the vice versa so else if v dot name is equal to secondary button then we're going to paste these we're going to paste these literally just paste these right then copy this again and then paste this here right it makes it, it makes the job a whole lot easier to change this to melee button right and then we're just going to change it so this should be false this should be true then this should be true and this should be false so true false so true false 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 true false and false false true pretty much and we have finished the first function on to the second one okay so then we're going to say if for i comma v in pairs loadout gy dot loadout frame dot primary weapons frame get children do if v is a text button same as we did before then v dot mouse button click connect function close parentheses enter we're going to say local gun oh gun name is equal to string dot split v dot name comma button I'm pretty much splitting up the string right because as you guys can see if, if i open this up it says gun one button we want to split the name up because remember inside the folders oh not this one inside the folders we call it gun one right so i'm pretty much splitting the string instead of it being gun one gun one button i'm changing it to just gun one i'm removing the button portion of the word so yeah that's what string dot split is doing then I'm going to set the, we're finally going to set these values. So primary weapon is equal to gun name. And then as you guys can probably guess, we are going to literally copy and paste what we did two more times. So control V, control V, change this to secondary, then change this to secondary, change this to melee change this to melee name and melee name and then to melee weapon and boom we're done it, it literally saves so much time when you just keep copy and paste and just change a couple things but anyway anyway yeah so we're so we're oh actually no sorry guys i actually forgot i actually forgot okay so go back to these and we want to add a few kind of identifiers so first quotation marks we're going to say primary dot dot we're going to lead by primary and then in regular brackets put one because i forgot this gives us a table so we're going to say one just do you know just do the vice versa for all of them so secondary dot dot then go down here and melee dot dot and then melee name one right actually no we don't need melee we we don't even need melee because the great thing is we only have one folder for melee weapons so we don't even need that so yeah only put primary and secondary here and then of course the brackets one and now for the last function let's do loadout gy dot loadout frame play button dot mouse button one click connect function close parentheses enter the do loadout event fire server then we're going to send over the primary weapon the secondary weapon and the melee weapon and then lastly we're going to say loadout gy.enabled is equal to false and boom that simple 
the local script is way more like a whole lot more scripting than the server script so all we got left now is the server script and it's easier so let's close that out insert a server script into server script service name it load out script oh i think i spelled that wrong yeah script server boom delete print hello world let's make some variables local load i don't know why i keep spelling it like that loadout event is equal to game dot replicated storage wait for child loadout event then we're going to get the different folders so local primary folder is equal to game dot replicated storage wait for child primary primary right then you guys can copy and paste this oh sorry next line copy and paste this and as you guys have already guessed change it to secondary and then melee after so secondary Boom, then melee. Melee folder and melee. All right. Now we're gonna get into the one function we need on the server script. Now it comes time to clone over the weapons and give them to the player. So loaded event, dot on server event, connect function, PLR register for the player, then of course we send over the primary weapon, the secondary weapon, and the melee weapon, then enter. Then we're gonna break it up. So local AP is equal to string, which AP is just short for actual primary. And then AS will be short for actual secondary. So we're gonna use string dot split again, string dot split. And we're gonna say primary. Then we're gonna, of course, remove the word primary just so we can get the name of the gun. Then we're gonna say local AS is equal to string dot split secondary. And then same thing here, secondary, right? Then we're going to say if not quotation, I mean not quotation marks, parentheses, sorry, player dot character, find first child, primary. Because remember, we sent over the name of the primary weapon. We want to first make sure that the player doesn't currently have the gun. We want to make sure it's only sent over once, right? So we're going to, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to, then we're going to say, we're going to say or player dot backpack fire first child primary right and boom enter and then if if they don't find the gun we're going to clone it over so let's do local primary clone is equal to primary folder make sure you do primary folder not primary folder find first child then you're going to say a s for the first one at least or actually i'm sorry a p for the first one right AP in brackets, oh, did not mean to do that. AP in brackets, put two. And then you're going to go on the outside and say clone. Then you're going to say primary clone dot parent is equal to player dot backpack. And the great news is we just get to, we just get to copy and paste this and we are done. Let's copy paste this two more times and let's change some things. Change this to secondary, right? Then of course we're going to change this to secondary folder. Then we want to change this to AS instead of AP. Then we're going to change this to secondary clone, All right? Then for here, we're going to say local melee clone, All right? Then we're going to do that. And then simply all we're going to do is search for melee, All right? We can delete the brackets and just say melee. Then of course we're going to put melee and melee, boom. And then of course changes to melee folder and boom just like that guys we are done let's go ahead and test this if i go ahead and click play i guess the order hmm what order will i do i'll do uh that's weird okay <laughs> let me click play again i don't know what that i don't know what is going on That is so, why does studio want to act stupid when I want to start recording? That is so weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if I open up primary, let's say I'm gonna go with gun three, then secondary. I know it doesn't like anything changed, but trust me, guys, it did change. So I'm gonna go gun three for primary, gun two for secondary, and then melee. As you can see, it changed. I'm gonna go melee four. If I click play, boom, it disappeared, and I have the tools gun three, gun two, and melee four. Boom. 
that is how you make a loadout menu very simple so if you guys want the you know the, the ui the script pretty much the model or just the scripts in general you can become a channel member by pressing this join button next to the subscribe button if you guys enjoy leave a like and subscribe thank you guys to everyone who, who's been showing love to all my videos appreciate all my channel members and and as well as all my subscribers who've been showing love to my videos thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video